Welcome back to Site Tech and Mountain Earthworks training videos. I want to show you the new Earthworks 2.18 version that goes on your Earthworks machines. There's been a couple changes um, inside the main working app. The first thing that I just wanted to show you, it may not be a big deal, is the icons look just a little bit different on the main screen. So your web interface right here actually has a little bit of a different icon, looks more like a wrench. When you go into the web interface, there's not a lot of changes on the actual menus, but there's actually kind of a dark background up here, and there's a moon at the top right here. You can actually change between a different icon at the top. Between It looks like a sun right there to that icon, and then you can change back into more of a light, dark, whatever works for you. The, the padlock in the lot left corners looks a little different. So some differences on the web interface. But let's go ahead and close out of this, and I'll show you the new CatGrade or Earthworks app. So once you log into the cat grade, one thing that you'll notice, and I ha it has happened on the last couple versions, is there is an option at the top here for what's new in the different versions. So for example, 2.18.1, you can click on this if you don't have access to some of the other documentation. And this one will go through different things. Down here there's what's new in 2.16, 217, but this is the one for 218. And if you need to read through or show your operators, there's a little bit different options here. One for branding, uh, import job set screen, and surface manager. We're going to go through a couple of these real quick. So the other one, one other thing that I think is really neat is most of you are familiar if you come in here and let's say your base station isn't running or there's an issue with something on the machine, you have a red box, but you're also grayed out at the bottom right here. Uh, it won't let you go beyond it. Well, one cool part is if your base isn't running, for example, you can actually still get into the app. You'll, your, your yellow bar will allow you to get in. You'll just have the set tolerances are kind of low option that's still showing there. But it's kind of like the old GCS 900 system where even if there was a problem with the system, you could still get into the operating screen. And this actually allows you to do that. Now, my base and everything is running right now. So I've got everything checked, ready to go. But you're going to notice right off the bat, the job setup screen is going to look way different than what you're used to. So just to explain this real quick, you still have everything that you did before, just a little bit of different layout. So example, like project setup, I've got different projects. I can plus to actually name a project or I can hit this little black box to actually go in and just see it in a different menu and see infill designs versus off, offline. So you'll have to get familiar with that. The measured data hasn't changed. The mode is a little bit different. So in here, you can see that I've got depth and slope and design, but you don't see an infill option there. It still has infill, but it's not under that drop down. They've changed some stuff up at the bottom here for design file and guidance surface. So in here for the model, I only have one model here, so I can run my Morgan finish grade, and that's my guidance actual uh, design also. Right next to that's where it gets a little bit different, is you can hit the plus button right here, and that's kind of where you would go in and actually add an infill design. These boxes are still the same, where you've got level, slope, and alignment and section. But once again, there's a difference there. Don't be alarmed if you don't see that in the mode. It's okay. It's down here. Hit the plus. You can do that. Or you can hit the black box right here and actually see any infill designs versus designs that have been given to you from the office. And this is kind of what we're going to go through real quick. Remember, you can still hit the eye in the corner right here to actually see that you can run a guidance surface up to two different reference surfaces along with your main your main design right there. So right off the bat, we're just going to go back to my main screen right here, um, operating screen, and actually show you the design that I have here. And then we'll actually create a couple different designs. So in my plan view, I've got looking down on the job. In my cross section, I've got where my actual finished grade is. So you got your fill of 90 to 95, whatever is on each side of the machine. And that's my surface. So if you touch and hold on it, you have the select surface, which we always had before, but that's going to take you back to an option right here to select between different ones or go to surface manager. So what this will look like is right where my bucket's at, I got a cross section. Let's say I want to create an infill design or a flat plane in that same spot and use it as a reference at the actual elevation my bucket tip's at. What I can do is go into my shovel with the gear, job setup, 
and I can come down here and hit that plus button and I can create a level plane. This is all like you're used to before. You can hit the here button to populate the elevation or if you know it and I will just call this my pad just so I have an actual name and I'm going to save that. Once I've saved that, now I have a different option in here for my guidance surface. So just to show you in a different screen, the black box with the square, my guidance surface is my finished grade out there, but I can actually have a reference right here. So I can pick as a reference and move my pad up there, and I can have it checked. So this will look a little different on the main screen. When I go back and apply on the screen here, you're going to see two different lines. So it's kind of the ability to reference both at the same time. My guidance is actually still to my finished grade for my original design, but I do have a reference on the screen right here to show me both different surfaces if you're working both of those right there. What I can do to switch in between to where my cut fill is now to my level pad is simply touch and hold on it, go to select here, and I can say I want my surface to actually be off the pad. So there, I still in the top screen here, however you want it laid out, have my project that shows me where everything is um, in conjunction to horizontal. But look, now my actual cut fill just, boom, right that quick bounced back between the, the two, and it went to my, my pad elevation. So if you just need to instantly jump back, go back here and select that Morgan S or Morgan finished grade, and now you actually are back to that. So to show you one more thing, let's create a quick slope. So I'm going to go back into my job setup to show you the difference here. I'm going to hit plus, and I'm going to do a quick slope. I'm going to do kind of a quick cross slope. So we'll just go ahead and We'll just quickly just move over right here just to make a quick cross slope. And I'm going to hit a here button down with my bucket down low. And then I'm going to hit next. And I'll go ahead and actually do one that has my bucket up maybe a little bit higher. Just kind of something drastic just to show you the difference here. And I'll hit here. I'm just going to do a two point. So now I can hit next. I'm not going to worry about giving it a cross slope or anything. I'll just leave it as a single, not worried about slope or anything like that. Hit next, and I'll come in here and just call this slope real quick to get you thinking about what we're going on. So now that I'm in here, if I drop this down, you can see I've got three, and the little icon right here that shows the, the guy standing there is kind of the difference between um, the office design and an infill design. you got to keep an eye on those, or you can hit the black box to the right side and the same thing. I've got office in my sort or I've got infill to sort the bottom ones right here. So my office finish grade and my infills. It just kind of helps you organize that a little bit better. So now what I can do is, is a reference, I could actually bring up the slope. So we'll go ahead and now leave that one on there. I'll bring my bucket back just a little bit and put it back in the middle of where we're working and we'll hit apply. So now on my main screen right here, you can see the yellow line. That yellow line is that cross section that I just made, but I'm still referencing, because my bucket's in the air, my original finished grade. If I just eat, need to, on the fly, hurry and switch that, same thing, select surface, and I can go to slope, and now my actual elevation is following that slope. Top screen still gives me the blue line, which is the alignment that I made with that, but I've, I can actually hurry and reference in between those two. If I touch and hold on it one more time and go in here to this box, now you can actually move them around. I could move out of there that one. I could put in my slope at the top, and then I could reference my pad. So at the top, I'm actually removing out the one that was my original guidance, which was my finished grade for the project, and I've moved up in there the option to where now my screen is still horizontally showing the project, but all I'm showing on the main screen is the difference between my slope that I made and my flat pad. I can just simply touch and hold and say, hey, I want to use my pad as an elevation. There's my pad. Or I can just also simply go back and be like, hey, I need to go back to my finished grade for my actual project. So it's pretty interesting. I actually like it. 
Um, obviously out here, I'm not really digging any holes or anything, but I know that you could use this really handy in each individual machine, meaning a grader, dozer, excavator, skid steer, whatever you're using to figure out, like if you're cutting curb and grit, gutter, it's going to be really helpful to pick in between those two. If you're using an excavator and you need to reference an elevation, maybe you're laying water lines, you need to reference back and forth in between a certain elevation for a, a berry, you've got a frost line, Whatever it may be, you guys need to kind of think outside the box yourself on this. But just know by touching and holding, you can select surfaces or you can actually hit that and understand the difference between the sorting here of office and infield and what actual guidance solution is your main one versus a reference one. There again, use these menus at the top to understand it. There's really no other changes that I've noticed drastically on the main screen right here. Um, they're all about the same there, but I think this is really going to help you out as operators. Uh, go ahead and download it, get it from your site tech guys. Uh, once again, it's version 2.18.1 for Earthworks platforms. And uh, go ahead and enjoy it. Don't be afraid of your machines. I've always said, just understand your trade, understand your machine. Um, GPS always makes a good operator way better. It's just nice to know how to utilize this stuff and all the features um, to use it. So thanks for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain, Earthworks training videos on the new Earthworks platform.